What's up, Tolos? Professional broadcasters here, Jeff Cavanaugh and Brian Broadus. It's good to see you. We're going to tell you about yesterday's practice before we go watch today's practice. Brian, what do you got? Give me something good. Give me the good stuff. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, the defensive backs continue to do some positive things. Every day you get one guy that will make a pass breakup, you know, drive on a ball, digs, uh, you know, those guys. I, I felt like overall Brown, those guys, they played pretty well. There's a lot of scrutiny about these guys and how they're going to perform, how they're going to play. Uh, even Joseph, ball goes vertical on him. He's able in position. Noah Brown knocked the ball away. Noah Brown better stop running deep routes on Kelvin yeah, Joseph. It ain't working. He, he ain't but that's that's the one thing I think we're all kind of focusing on that. We saw O.D.G. Zawa yesterday had a sack uh, during the team period and stuff like that. I thought that was a really, really good. Nice to see him get across the line of scrimmage. We talk a lot about those defensive tackles and what they're able to do. Saw some creativity from Kelvin Moore with the way using the two backs in the backfield. Bringing uh, Pollard across his motion, you fake that, and then you got Zeke running a vertical route. Linebackers confused, safety confused, touchdown. So, a lot of good things at camp. Uh, you know, still a lot of questions, still a long way to go, but at least you're starting to see some of the things you're looking for. So, Brian and I traded jobs yesterday. Normally, I'm obsessed with receivers, so I refused we'll to. We'll trade leave. back today. So, I refused to leave them, so I had to do the offensive and defensive line watching when yeah. they were doing their two on twos. And uh, there were Neville Gallimore was in there getting some good things done. I love that Micah Parsons is over there. As all the linebackers are running seven on seven, he's running over doing a couple of pass rush drills. Then he runs back over to seven on seven and gets a pick, his first play in the game. So you're going to see Micah Parsons rushing the passer for the Cowboys. That's pretty cool. That's better than having an off-ball linebacker pick number 12 overall. Um, let me try to remember who had – because Terrence Steele got beat twice in a row. Yeah. One was – Oh, Brian, where are my notes? Oh, what a terrible broadcaster. I'll think of it later. It'll happen. It'll come I to me. I sent you those notes, didn't I? Check my Twitter at JC1053. I live tweeted everything that was happening and uh, who Terrence Steele got beat by twice in a row. Tyron Smith. Armstrong. Armstrong. Armstrong was one. Yeah. Uh, oh, Gregory was the other one. Gregory yeah. went right down the middle, right yep. through his chest. Yep. Um, Bradley and I had some nice ones, although he jumped off sides. Yeah. Dak was nice in the two-minute warning. Uh, so that's day two, or practice two, and this is practice three, and we'll tell you all about it when we're done with it. It's a great time. Hey, CD, time your jumps right. I'm looking for sports center plays. Football went right through his hands. Not incompletions. <laughs> Go get my football. All right, boys, we'll talk to you uh, after this practice. Keep it locked, 105 thefancom Jeff out. Brian out. Yeah, see, anytime I say anything with my name, he says his.